Hey loves, so uh, back today to power through these palette reviews that I'm trying to do for you guys. Um, Maha asked for like a purple plummy colored look, which is why I picked this palette next. Um, so it's what's on my eyes. I'll walk you through exactly what that, um, what I use and how I use it and all that good stuff in a second. But can't we just celebrate this lipstick for a second? Celebrate lipstick in like every other video. Uh, this is Please Me from MAC, which was part of my Nicole box from my sister. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link my birthday haul down below. But I've really been enjoying it. And um, even though I feel like really warm and like my makeup's not working today and headachey, um, putting on this lipstick just sort of pet me right up. So that's exciting. Um, the palette. So this is the Tease. Yep, 202 The Tease from Marc Jacobs. I think I paid... It's originally $71, but I got it on sale, with 15% off sale at Sephora, so um, I didn't pay full price, obviously. Um, and let me walk you through what I did on my eyes, and then I'll talk to you about the actual palette itself. Okay, so I didn't do a whole look, like I said, on this um, eye makeup, but I just wanted to show it to you quickly before I talk you through the colors that I used. So this is the look I created. Um, and as you can see, my eyebrows are needing some maintenance, but we're going to get on that really soon. Um, so in the palette, I used, um, I mixed these two all over my lid. And then this guy went into the inner corner. I want to try to use all of them. So uh, I mixed these all over my, like, my whole lid. And then this is in my inner corner. And then I started with this guy on the in the crease, and it wasn't as opaque as I wanted, so I had to build it for a little bit. And then when I still didn't get the opacity I wanted, I added some of this guy, nope, <laughs> some of this guy in there with it to just give it that really good opacity. Um, and then again, with these two all over my lid, again, it wasn't feeling just intense enough, so I added this guy on top and it worked really well. And then I ran some of this right under my crease. Um, and I'll show you that again. And so what I found was while the lighter colors were a little bit sheer and took some work, to get them to work, uh, to get them to like show up true to color. As soon as I added those uh, darker colors in, it really just helped sort of emphasize those colors and make them pop a lot more. Um, and I do like the way that it turned out at the end. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I did. Okay, so, so that's what I did on my eyes. And like I sort of mentioned in that little clip, um, the lighter colors need a little bit more work, so it's not as intense of a payoff as the darker colors. I also found basically all the colors, colors to be powdery. I didn't get fallout, but I just had to make sure to tap off my brush before I went in there and mixed them. Um, the darker colors make up for the lighter colors because they're just so beautiful and pigmented and, and unique and like multi-dimensional. Um, but at $71 for the palette, you would wish that all of them were that pigmented. Um, so I'll show you the palette again. So it's this guy. And I don't actually see names for the shadows, um, but that's them. Um, we can do some swatches. So that's that guy. But you see what I mean about the darker ones being so multi-dimensional? Like, they're really beautiful. And they're super buttery smooth, which is really nice. Um, this one is looking like it looks white, but it is a lovely lilac-y color. Um, That one. Okay, I'm gonna put them on my hands and then do the rest. <laughs> but do you see what I mean about sort of the lighter colors not being quite as pigmented? Um, because it is such a pricey palette, you want them all to pop. So I didn't quite get that with these guys. Yeah, so I did that backwards again, that one's here. But um, again, really, really pretty um, on my fingers. And then I will swatch them on my hand. Those guys are right there. This one, that purple burgundy one, is the only one that's sort of gritty in the palette, but that's just because it got it's got a little bit more shimmer in it. Um, this guy is really close to the uh, Radiant Orchid color from the palette of the year from the color of the year from that Sephora palette. Let me just pull it up. I'll do a comparison swatch for you. Okay. This one's the one from the Pantone color of the year palette and this one is the one from the Marc Jacobs palette. So they are similar. Um, 
I wish I was more excited about this palette because it is quite expensive. Um, I'm going to keep playing with it and um, seeing if I have better luck. I think I did try to create a lighter um, look more or less today, so that's really why it's not as poppy, I think, as, um, as if I'd sort of tried to do like a smokier look with some of those darker colors. But yeah, it's a mixed bag um, for me. The lighter colors just don't pop or give you that intensity you want without really building them up. So I'm sort of on the fence about this one. I've got two other Marc Jacobs palettes that I hauled, and I'm hoping I don't have the same kind of problems with those ones. Um, but I will keep you guys posted. Let me know if any of you guys have this palette, different ways you like to try to work with it, um, your thoughts on the Marc Jacobs palettes, all that kind of good stuff. Leave those down for me uh, below, please. And let's do three points of positivity, shall we? Um, so the first is, I think I've already told you, but I'm taking my cousins to Katy Perry this summer, and we have been brainstorming ideas on what we want to dress up as when we go. Um, so I think the front runner at this point is the baker from the Happy Birthday video. I have not seen this Happy Birthday video yet, but... I think I need to watch it to make sure that I know what it is that we're supposed to be dressing up as. Um, but it's just been fun to like sit around and watch all our videos and decide what I want to get done. So um, yeah, that's definitely my first point of positivity. My second point of positivity is um, the... I got it, I got it. <laughs> um, Pelike made a new cover of a song that I've decided is dedicated to uh, my sweet friend Annalise, so that one's for you. I've linked it down below. Go watch it. Um, but it's just a fun song, and it's definitely been bringing a smile to my face. And the third point of positivity, um, I know it happened a while back at this point, but is that beauty gala that I got to go to. Um, I vlogged about it, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I filmed this before I'm going, so I'm hoping that my vlog camera works and all that good stuff. But it's definitely something that's been making me really excited. And anytime I get to go to sort of a beauty related event and um, check out new products and bond with other uh, people that love beauty and makeup as much as I do is always a fun point of my day. So that's my third point. Let me know what yours are down below in that comment section. Sending you guys tons of love, thanking you again for being here. And just want to leave you as always by reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys!